Hello everyone. My current car project is a 30-year-old classic motor carriages class 34 Ford street rod. After making it roadworthy, the 273 rear end just didn't cut it off the line at the traffic light drag races. It, the gas mileage wasn't too bad and um, the uh, highway speed performance was, was okay. But I decided I would uh, try to change a uh, change to a lower gear ratio and uh, add to the fun factor. I'm going to get this out of the car barn and uh, let you have a look at it and see what we're dealing with here. The car has a 350 small block Chevy motor with a TH350 automatic transmission. It's a, it's a pretty mild build. It's uh, torquey, but it doesn't have a, a high lift or high duration cam. It's, uh, it's, the cam is very close to uh, the original equipment manufacturer. So I'm going to say my estimate without it being fit on the dyno. It's probably 275 to 300 horsepower. Probably a good stab at the power out there. Anyway, so with a change out to 355 gears in the uh, Ford 8.8 .8 rear end, uh, the launch was much improved. The trade off, though, was really high RPMs and uh, really terrible fuel consumption. Uh, the other other issues weren't too bad or was the high uh, higher lower shift points but harsher shifts and the uh, noise was significantly increased. So here we'll uh, I'll put it on the road and I'll we'll try to show you uh, the relationship of the engine speed to the uh, speedometer. The speedometer is the large gauge on the left and the tachometer is on the right. And uh, uh, at about uh, 60 miles per hour, the engine RPM is about 2850 to 2900 RPM according to the, uh, you know, the tach. Bad the uh, view of the gauges for the road speed and the engine speed aren't better visible, but you can infer and tell that uh, at 64, 65 miles per hour, it's uh, 3,000 RPM, and uh, when I drop down to 60, the engine speed is still about uh, 2,800 RPM. So this thing sounds <laughs> more like a, a high-speed four-cylinder sports car engine than it does an American V8 under these conditions. I began to research into uh, overdrive units that would mate with this TH350 transmission, but there's not a lot to choose from and the ones that are available are very expensive. I did find that there's a couple of GM transmissions that bolt right up to the TH350 and they're pretty straightforward to, uh, to swap out. And those were the 700 for R4 and the TH200 4R. The uh, TH200 4R was a perfect fit. The only thing you had to accommodate if you use that is the uh, rear transmission mount about six inches uh, closer to the rear end than the TH350. The uh, uh, TH700 R4 would have required some uh, tri-shaft trimming and uh, addi 
transmission fitting. So I, I thought I would chase down a TH200 4R uh, and its uh, companion lockup torque converter to uh, lower RPM at uh, highway speeds and uh, improve the noise and uh, gas mileage. Deciding on the TH200-4R, I began to look at options to score one of these transmissions and obviously the salvage yards would be a source, but I noticed there were several vendors available uh, through some online uh, research and uh, I ended up going with Monster Transmissions. They had a lot of online information, they had good reviews and comparable pricing with the other vendors. So I had to pick one. When I called Monster's Transmissions, the upfront sales engineering experience was very good. A uh, fair mechanic could probably research all the parts uh, needed for an installation, you know, a swap out with a TH350. But it was very convenient for me to discuss options with a knowledgeable representative. And uh, I think probably the other value adds were uh, Monster offers different build and performance levels in the transmission that you order. They build it to your, uh, you know, to your specifications. For instance, you wouldn't want to specify a performance build for a car that you're going to drive downtown occasionally. Uh, I think there's nothing like a tire chirping one to two shift on Main Street right in front of the police station to attract uh, unnecessary attention. And on the other end of the scale, if you're going to be pulling a race trailer or uh, have high horsepower requirements, then you're going to want to let them know that right up front so they can make an appropriate uh, recommendation for a build line. In anticipation of a transmission change, I've added a B&M Quicksilver shifter that can handle three or four speed transmissions. Monster transmission folks use really cool uh, communications tools to keep their customers appraised of the customer's order as it goes through the manufacturing process, the remanufacturing process. Uh, there's online tools and emails and uh, you can create an account to, uh, you know, query the, the process. So uh, I got word from my mechanic that uh, they received the transmission after my order was placed in uh, March of uh, 2018 and I was told up front this is the busiest time of the year of course and that it was going to be you know a period of uh, a couple of months or so before I would uh, get the transmission so that gave me plenty of time to uh, do a lot of the prep work. Uh, let's see what else I can tell you about it. It's uh, pretty straightforward at that point. Uh, I elected to return my core to transmission to Monster, so I was able to reuse the uh, packing pallet and uh, get that out to them. So uh, anyway, off to the uh, off to my mechanics. The uh, car goes. Well, good news, the new transmission for Monster Transmissions has been installed and the core TH350 has been shipped to Monster's facility in Florida and this is my uh, test drive and I uh, wanted to share the uh, 
results of the overdrive gear in the transmission. The, uh, this transmission uses a throttle valve cable, and the throttle valve cable uh, is the only input to the transmission aside from the uh, transmission, uh, excuse me, the drive shaft speed. So there's a governor in the transmission, but the TV cable takes the place of the vacuum modulator that the TH350 used, and of course the engine control and other electronics that other transmissions use. So um, it's uh, very critical to configure the TV cable setup on your car uh, precisely the way GM uh, has laid out for the uh, mechanic reason for the primary reason for that is that the TV cable controls line pressure and uh, if the line pressure is too low then you're going to have soft uh, close together or stacked shifts and because there's only a couple of clutches in the fourth gear uh, it's uh, extremely likely you can uh, burn those clutches uh, friction devices out if your line pressure is not sufficient. So just uh, that's a that's a well-known warning to people familiar with this uh, transmission, but uh, nonetheless, it, uh, it's a warning that everyone should heed. As soon as traffic clears, we'll pull out onto the highway and have a look at the road speed versus engine speed. And, uh, I was very pleased, and uh, you, you'll see why in just a moment. So, uh, so keep an eye on the gauges, and uh, I'll point out the, uh, the advantage. live in a rural area, but for some reason there's, there's a lot of traffic today. Okay. And I've been, uh, I've been manually shifting the uh, B&M shifter for a couple of reasons. One, to uh, control when the uh, fourth gear is engaged or overdrive is engaged. Number two, because it's just fun. Uh, the, uh, I did put a disable switch for the lock-up torque converter uh, in case I ever wanted to run it in fourth gear with the torque converter not locked up, but there's some concern that that could cause quite a bit of, quite a bit of uh, heat problems. All right, so uh, I don't know if you can see, but uh, we, we hit 60 miles per hour. The engine speed with, uh, in fourth gear with the torque converter locked up is a mere 1,800 RPM that's significantly better than the 2800 RPM that we, uh, we had before. Uh, the lock up, uh, locking up the torque converter trims uh, about 200 RPM off the engine speed and uh, as I said before because it's locked up it's not contributing to the uh, transmission fluid heat. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I did uh, call Monster just to uh, uh, get a little technical help with uh, deciding if my fourth gear shifts were uh, had the right feel, and uh, they gave me a couple of hints I uh, took advantage of, and uh, they have, uh, again, some very knowledgeable people on their staff that can help with any uh, after installation questions you might have. All right, well, safe driving.